A laser beam from a NASA spacecraft has successfully pinged an Indian lander on the moon. This is the first time that a laser beam has been transmitted and reflected between an orbiting and a landed spacecraft on the lunar surface. This remarkable feat opens the door to a new style of precisely locating targets on the moon. In this video, I will tell you more about this amazing experiment and why it is so important for the future of lunar science and exploration. You will learn how the NASA LRO and the ISRO Vikram communicated with a laser beam, why this experiment is significant and beneficial, and what are the next steps and plans for these two missions. So, stay tuned and get ready to be amazed by the power of laser technology. The first thing you need to know is what are LRO and Vikram, and what are they doing on the moon? LRO stands for Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, and it is a NASA mission that has been orbiting the moon since 2009. Its main goal is to map the lunar surface and environment, and to provide data and images that can support future human and robotic exploration of the moon. Vikram is the name of the lander that is part of India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, which landed on the moon in 2023. Its main goal is to explore the lunar South Pole region, and to conduct experiments and measurements that can enhance our understanding of the Moon's origin and evolution. Now, both LRO and Vikram have something in common. They have a laser instrument and a retro reflector on board. A laser instrument is like a flashlight that sends out pulses of light, and a retro reflector is like a mirror that reflects light back to its source. The laser instrument on LRO is called a laser altimeter, which measures the distance between the spacecraft and the lunar terrain. On the other hand, there is tiny retroflector on the Vikram that is only five centimeters wide, but it can last for decades and does not need any power or maintenance. On December 12th, 2023, LRO and Vikram performed a remarkable experiment. They communicated with each other using a laser beam. LRO pointed its laser pulses toward Vikram and detected the light that bounced back from the retro reflector. This confirmed the location and orientation of Vikram on the lunar surface, near Manzinus Crater in the Moon's South Pole region. This was not an easy task, as both crafts were about 250 kilometers apart, and LRO was moving at about 1.6 kilometers per second. So the laser pulses had to travel through the vacuum of space and avoid any dust or clouds that could block or scatter the light. It also had to hit a very small target, as the retro reflector on Vikram is only 5 centimeters wide. So it had to be timed precisely, as the delay between sending and receiving the light was about 1.6 seconds. Now you may be wondering, why is this experiment so important and significant? What are the benefits and implications of this laser communication between LRO and Vikram? Well. There are several reasons why this experiment is a big deal, both for the current missions and for the future ones. First, it demonstrates the feasibility and reliability of laser communication between orbiting and landed spacecraft on the moon. This could enable more accurate and precise navigation, positioning, and tracking of lunar targets, which could improve the safety and efficiency of lunar operations. For example, Laser communication could help locate and avoid potential hazards, such as craters, boulders, or slopes, that could endanger the landing or mobility of the spacecraft. It could also help coordinate and synchronize the activities and data of multiple spacecraft, such as orbiters, landers, rovers, or even astronauts, that could work together on the Moon. Second, it provides valuable data and information about the lunar terrain, gravity, and surface properties, which could enhance the scientific understanding of the moon and its history. For example, this could help measure the height and shape of the lunar features, such as mountains, valleys, or ridges, that could reveal the geological processes that shape the moon. It could also help measure the variations and anomalies in the lunar gravity field, which could indicate the presence of subsurface structures, such as lava tubes, craters, or basins, that could hold clues to the Moon's formation and evolution. Moreover, it could also help measure the reflectivity and temperature of the lunar surface, which could indicate the composition and distribution of the lunar materials, such as rocks, minerals, or ice, 
that could hold resources for future exploration. Third, it showcases the collaboration and cooperation between NASA and ISRO, which could foster more joint ventures and partnerships in the field of space exploration. For example, laser communication could help share and exchange the data and images collected by LRO and Vikram, which could increase the scientific output and impact of both missions. It could also help establish and maintain the contact and communication between the two agencies, which could facilitate the planning and execution of future missions. This also help inspire and motivate the public and the media, which could generate more interest and support for the space programs of both countries. So, what are the next steps and future plans for LRO and Chandrayaan-3 after this successful experiment of laser communication? Well, LRO is still operational and active, and it will continue to orbit the moon and collect data and images of the lunar surface and environment. Chandrayaan-3, however, is no longer functional, as its lander Vikram and rover Pragyan stopped working after they lost contact with ISRO. LRO will try to repeat the laser communication experiment and test its performance and consistency under different conditions and scenarios. For example, it will try to communicate with other spacecraft that have retro reflectors on them, such as the Apollo landers, the Chinese Changi landers, or the Israeli Bereshit lander. It will also try to communicate with other laser instruments that are on Earth or in space, such as the Lunar Laser Ranging Stations, the Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Explorer, or the Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway. However, it may encounter some difficulties or obstacles, such as the harsh lunar environment, the limited power and resources, or the unexpected events or anomalies. For example, it may face the extreme temperatures, the radiation, or the micrometeoroids that could damage or degrade its instruments. It may also face the power constraints, the bandwidth limitations, or the data storage issues that could affect its operations. It may also face the communication interruptions, the orbital perturbations, or the instrument failures that could disrupt its experiments. In this video, I have told you about the latest news on how LRO and Vikram have communicated with a laser beam, and what it means for the future of lunar science and exploration. You have learned how LRO and Vikram communicated with a laser beam, why this experiment is important and significant and what are the next steps and future plans for LRO and Vikram. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.